Breaking news, the worldwide chip shortage is hitting the camera industry, and I think it will severely set back big product launches like the Canon R3, the Nikon Z8, and other cameras you have yet to even hear about. I'm going to tell you exactly what's happening and how to navigate it. But first, a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. It's 2021, and everyone has learned to rely heavily on the internet. We expect to be able to look up any business and find a professionally done website. Everyone's sick of social media. It's time to have your own domain name, get your own personalized email addresses, set up a store, take appointments online, make it all happen at squarespace.com slash Tony. Set it up for free, no charge. And if you love it, after 15 days, use the coupon code Tony and get 10% off. Thank you, Squarespace. First, let's talk about what the chip shortage is and what's causing it. So many devices in your life have tiny little chips in them. And if for some reason, manufacturers can't get that tiny little chip produced, it interrupts the entire supply chain. And we've seen this happen in so many different industries. The car industry has been absolutely slammed. Simple chips have stopped entire production lines for huge companies like Toyota and Ford. The end result, people can't necessarily buy new cars, or if they are buying them, they're probably paying over list price because they're highly in demand. This trickles down to the used market, where suddenly used cars are costing significantly more. This same thing is happening in the camera industry, so it's important to understand. Some background on how we got here. During 2020, people stayed home and we spent more and more on home goods. People actually bought more computers for the first time in a long time. We bought more TVs because we wanted to make our homes better. This meant that all the chip manufacturing was dedicated to these high volume consumer electronics that suddenly saw a spike in demand. On the other hand, other devices had a significant fall in demand. As I mentioned earlier, cars. People didn't have to drive to work as much, so they didn't buy as many cars. And the camera industry was absolutely devastated. People stopped buying cameras because they couldn't travel, they couldn't photograph sports, and there weren't any weddings or events. Now, a lot of us, myself included, are getting vaccinated and we're hoping to return to normal life. And we expected to see some pent up demand. And indeed, camera sales in 2021 are doing much, much better. Whether you're an automobile manufacturer or a camera manufacturer, this meant that in 2020, you asked your chip manufacturers to ramp down their production. And in 2021, you're asking them to ramp up production, but it's not necessarily that easy. Because of the increased demand for home goods, these chip manufacturers are already busy. And most of them are gonna give their business to their biggest customers, which are things like electronics manufacturers, not car and camera manufacturers. There are other factors besides just increased demand for chips. A lot of American companies either can't or won't work with Chinese chip suppliers who used to be by far the biggest suppliers in the world because of the US-China trade war that's been happening. So they've been shifting their orders to other places like Taiwan. These places can't ramp up production as quickly as they would like to. Also, Taiwan's been suffering from a huge drought. And like, how does that impact chip shortages? Well, these chip manufacturing facilities require a massive amount of purified water. This has held back production. So we see this perfect storm of factors coming together to mean that you might not be able to get that new camera or the new camera you've been hoping for might not even launch. I experienced this first in March when I reached out to a drone supplier to loan me a drone to compare against the, at the time, very popular DJI FPV. The drone supplier told me the chip shortage meant they couldn't even produce their latest drone. They expected it to be available in April. So I tabled it. I thought I don't wanna review something if people can't even buy it, what's the point? Now it's June. This item is still back ordered. This chip shortage is impacting their sales for several months now. Okay, you've probably heard supply and demand, right? When you have increased demand and reduced supply, of course that drives prices up. There are actually lots of different factors. Now I'm gonna talk about that in just a second, but I wanna plug our store first. Something that's never out of supply is photography education. You might not be able to get the camera that you want, but you can take the time and improve your photography with award-winning products like stunning digital photography. We have our art and science of photography video training series, the professional portrait video training series. All that is 25% off now, thanks to dads and grads. Father's Day is coming up, so use the coupon code DAD. You can also get 50% off our apparel, which are perfect gifts for the photographer in your life, like this cool t-shirt I'm wearing now. You can also get it in gray. We have hats 
and we have masks with little Aperture logos on them. So head to sdp.io slash combo to get 50% off that apparel. The brand new Sony A1, back ordered. The Nikon Z7 Mark II, back ordered for several weeks. X-T4, currently back ordered. Now, I don't know if this is because of the chip shortage or not, but it certainly could be. Now, this isn't going to immediately impact every product because manufacturers have produced a bunch of cameras and put them in boxes and distributed them out there. There's existing inventory, but that inventory may very well run out soon as manufacturers are no longer able to replenish it and keep up with demand. The lesson here is twofold. If you're thinking about getting something in the next six months, you should probably go ahead and jump on it now. If you're thinking about getting an item that is currently backordered, uh, what I tend to do is not backorder it. I tend to just wait until it's available so I can be sure that I'm getting the right price. But I instead would recommend that you go ahead and back order it and wait. Because after all, you could always cancel your order later or return it. But if you don't get your place in line, it really might be until late 2022 or even 2023 until you're able to get that product. So get in line now. What's going to happen to the newly announced Canon R3 and Nikon Z8? These launches were, I expect, supposed to premiere at the Summer Olympics in Tokyo. And I don't think any of us consumers are going to be seeing these devices anytime soon. I think both Canon and Nikon are probably going to push these back. They've teased them. They want you to know that they're coming. But are they anywhere near ready to actually ship them to consumers? I would be shocked if a single one of these cameras goes out anytime in 2021. I would think that these will probably go out in 2022, maybe even closer to the second half of 2022 because of this sort of severe pressure that the chip shortage has been putting on them. I do, however, think if the Olympics do happen that they'll have a few hand assembled devices there for people to shoot with. Maybe you follow Canon rumors, Nikon rumors. You've been seeing these rumors that haven't ever actually appeared. Is it because they've let you down? They're getting false information? Well, another possibility is that these product launches were actually planned, but the manufacturers aren't able to actually produce them because of the chip shortage. I'm sure that there were products ready to be announced that are now being pushed back. I'm gonna break down the fourth wall. I normally cover two new camera launches every month as these breaking news pieces, I'm covering the chip shortage because I don't expect there to be a single new camera launch or even good rumors this month. I hope to be proven wrong, but I'm pretty pessimistic about it. There's a limited supply of chips. And if you're a manufacturer and you can't produce everything your customers want, where would you put those chips? Well, you'd put them in the places that would make you the most money, the highest profit items. And of course, the highest profit items are going to be the most expensive items. So this is bad news for those of you who are shopping on more of a budget. I expect the supply that does exist is going to be on the like $3,000 and up camera models. It's also terrible news for the bargain shoppers out there because camera and lens prices tend to drop over the life cycle of the item. Often the price of new camera bodies will drop 30-40% over the first year or two that it's been out. I don't expect the actual prices of these items to drop at all. I expect that they're going to stay at the MSRP, the manufacturer suggested retail price. And if you're hoping to see a big dads and grass sale on cameras or any electronics, I don't think you're going to get it, nor do I think there's going to be any big Black Friday sales. As long as demand exceeds supply, manufacturers and distributors are not going to lower their prices below MSRP. And if you absolutely do want something now and you can't wait, you can probably get it. You can head to places like eBay where somebody will sell it to you right away, but for a huge markup. I see this as like a hidden form of inflation because after all, in different circumstances, we'd be able to get the things we wanted right away. Especially if you're a working professional, you might have jobs coming up where you simply cannot wait weeks or months to get the product in. And if you do want it now, well, I went and checked on eBay to see what a new A1 is going for. They retail MSRP $6,500. If you want one today, you can pay $7,700 or $8,000. So we're talking like $1,200, $1,500 markup just to get it now. We're seeing the same thing in the automobile industry where new cars are going for way over retail just because that's how restricted the supply is. Of course, this is going to resolve itself. And if you're a thrifty person, you should just wait it out. But I think you're going to be waiting until mid to late 2022. So can you wait a full year? I hope you can, because that can save you a lot of money. 
So speaking of when is this going to end, I, I hear different opinions from the experts in the field. Some people think it could trail into 2023. Goldman Sachs is saying production is going to start to ramp up second half of 2021. So basically now, but they don't expect it to fully meet demand until early 2022. And of course, when the chips get manufactured, you still have to put those chips into the cameras and lenses, put those into boxes, send them out to retailers. So expect some delay even after those chips are finally available. What does this mean for camera manufacturers who've been just reeling after a terrible 2021? Several of them have gone completely unprofitable like Nikon. Olympus simply gave up and quit the entire camera industry. So another bad year is really bad news. But the good news is, like 2021, this is temporary. Speaking generally, all these camera manufacturers have cash on hand. So if it's a temporary setback that they think is going to end, this isn't going to push them out of the industry. They'll just say, okay, we're gonna take a big loss in 2021, we're gonna take a big loss in 2022, but then 2023 is starting to look better. And that seems to be based in fact. I do think there's going to be a rebound effect where we're all gonna to wanna to get back to normal life and people are gonna be buying tons of cameras and lenses. So it's not good news, but it's also not the worst news. And there is some good news, like we're not making videos about new cameras, so we're gonna to start to make more tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to see those. We're already working on them. And the camera manufacturers, this is slowing production, but it's not slowing down their R&D. So when these new cameras finally do launch, there'll be even bigger leaps. So the next round of cameras and lenses will be really, really exciting. So it's not a time to give up on exciting tech. Speaking of, head to squarespace.com slash Tony now and just check it out. Go through the different templates and see how amazing and beautiful your website can be. Show off your portfolio, your photos, or set up a website for any type of business. Squarespace makes it easy, beautiful, and powerful. When you love it, use the coupon code TONY and get 10% off. In the comments down below, I'd like to hear your own personal experiences with the chip shortage, especially if you have some inside industry knowledge. What do you think it's going to mean to everybody? Don't forget to subscribe for tutorials and eventually reviews when those new products finally do launch. Thanks and bye.